money. Hold up, gotta cut up, lot of order, dollars, quarters. Good morning. We are headed to a little wine tour today for Texas Winos. Look at Shell. We had to come to Walmart and get some film for the Polaroid. But we're so excited and we're also so very late, even though we had this plan for weeks. I found some earrings, but I didn't find right, no rings. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't find no rings. Those are cute though. Girl, I like this these. car fell fire. We smell good and it's air pressure. Those earrings are cute. I like these. Three dollars. I'll show you they 99 cents. Okay, well we ain't got shit in time right now. <laughs> I can't believe I can't find my bed. Okay. Okay, but we good. We going. We on the way. We're gonna hop on the toe. We, today. we just got to Civil Four. It's a uh, it's like a little coffee spot. It's actually really cute in here. I want to come here and work one day. We're waiting. We we checked in like with the driver or whatever. Um, and so we're just waiting for everybody to I guess be ready because we depart at 11 and it's only 10:53. So we're waiting. We're gonna have a little potty break because we're both very busy. So we're gonna have a little potty break and then we're on tour. Um, I didn't record this part on the vlog, but we already took a shot of 1942. Hey Google, play Raleigh, Taylor Portia. We already took a shot of, we already took a shot of 42. And we have our Stanley with water for hydration. And then, we have a snack. I picked us a little sack lunch. Strawberries, an adult lunchable, orange. And then we're gonna eat there too. Like we're gonna eat at one of the vineyards. So, yeah, we ready. And we lit and we cute. But we just got our little, our shot glasses out of our sack lunch. Did you change the thing? Oh, no, that's the first one. No, I was, no, I was talking about the, the I setting. Know, but I don't even know how to do it, though. I'm going to try to add a minute. Because I'd be having to take a, a, a test run. Yeah. Sunday fun day, bitch. It's 9 o'clock, bitch. It's like a quick look. We use it to make this wine, and we've got a couple other sweet wines, and we just do a couple different variations of sweetness with it. Um, so if anyone's interested in trying the dry white right now, I'll go around and pour. I'll try the dry white. Can we try both? Is that a thing? I got you. Oh, that's not <laughs> And this I actually just poured from the tank as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, so it's extra chill. Damn it. You missed it. Yeah, but it's okay. If you're doing barbecue, like pork. I haven't had pork steak in so long. <laughs> Thank you. This is the Blanc de Bois Dry, just infused with some blueberries. And so it's a little sweet, very aromatic up front, but then it still finishes a bit dry. And it's a really good balance. The barrels for the wine. Oh shit. Oh shit. What happened? Oh, let's Already in. Jeez. Oh. Not the Everclear? <laughs> so since we can only sell we can only sell and serve wine here. Mm -hmm. 
uh, or wine-based uh, beverages. Mm -hmm. uh, for some reason, we can't. I don't know what the issue is with the liquor licenses out here, but you know, like I said, we do. Have there. Uh huh. Wine that's been aging since 2010. <laughs> oh wow. That's 13 years. So all these barrels are full and have aged in uh, them. Oh, Amen. Some aged so like wine. Hello, fine. Like the wine. finest. <laughs> the finest wine. Uh, about a year. Well, uh, well, they're fermenting. Well, I'm a cheese girl. Let me see. The dressing. The white dressing? Yeah. Me as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the ranch oh, one. Yeah. yeah. Just hang in there. Can me? I try your, uh, the balsamic? Yeah, I mean, you missed it. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Okay, that's what's on here. Y'all, not uh, Mike done wasted uh, pasta sauce on me all over my outfit. I was real cute. Oh, get get, get it, because I got but pasta sauce all over my screen protector. You see? Uh, you need a new screen protector anyway. I do. But it's fine, and I don't care, because nobody's about to ruin my fucking day, because I'm drunk. Uh, he ruined the outfit, but not my day, though. You, bitch. Yeah, because I'm the best photographer. I don't know if you knew. I don't know if you ever knew that or not, but like, I'll be, be on my best shit. Give me a snack, bitch. You want to do a polar race? And then what I'm going to do is, I'll tell you really quick. Okay. Then Thank you. I'm going to uh, hand you three tickets, and those will get you. Capri Sun, it's a bag that has the same stuff in it hmm. that we sell for 12. If you want to take one to go, we don't the straw. I mean, I mean, it's a an adult slushy, is what it is. So, any questions before we go in? No, thank you. Yep, come on in and girl, they live outside. What do you mean? What sport do you play, man? You look like you're freaking a pro. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. Come here, little baby. Oh look, they late. <laughs> they didn't ate all the food, y'all. <laughs> they didn't ate a little bit of it. They didn't ate everything. Look at them running, Shell. Look, look, look. <laughs> oh my god, they're so cute. This is competitive. I gotta stand up. Did you record? I did, but you call me a cheating bitch, so I don't know. I like that one. We played the whole game and one motherfucking recording. Okay, you do it. Man. So we just left triple in. Just sitting in here, the gas gauge went down. That's unbelievable. It's so hot, it's just sucking air. But we got enough gas, so we're good. You gotta turn it back Yeah, I left my uh, Jeep at the pickup spot, so I just gotta drop this off and then pick up my Jeep and go down. Okay, yeah, so we just like triple in range. Yeah, she did. <laughs> And we're going to the next winery. I don't know the name of it, but it's in Ovilla, so it's an hour away. And that's why I say everyone get those for the hour trip, and everybody's feeling great when they get off. Okay, guys, so I just want to tell you this last winery, water, it's not on county water. So she knows well water and can water as much as she can without, uh, that's why those, now, this winery, this gentleman has the most expensive grapes in the state. So it's a little bit different, but his wine 
think of it as Dracula blood, high level, super duper, top quality wine um, with the grapes oh. that he grows. So that's gonna be our next stop. Okay. Um, yep. So anyways, we have an hour drive to Ovilla. We're going to Ovilla, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. We're going to Ovilla and... Yeah. We're going to Ovilla. Yeah. <laughs> Right. <laughs> We're going to Ovilla. Oh, that's like. So, yeah. I'll check in when we get to the next um, winery. First of all, I've been knocked the fuck out. We have like 12 minutes or 14 minutes or something like that. Good morning. It is 9:49. It is Monday, September 18th. And I realized at like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning that I got an email on Saturday from my office saying that saying that somebody left a surprise for me. So I'm about to go get it. I'm about to walk over there and see what it is. It said, good morning, Narcisse. I called but unable to get a hold of you. I wanted to let you know that someone has brought you a surprise to pick up in the office. You'll be able to pick it up before we close 5 p.m. today. Make sure you bring ID. Have a wonderful weekend. I don't know. So we're gonna go over there and see what it is. I'm excited because like for me, the little old me. You guys, look at my pretty flowers. This one's a little droopy and this one is like hella droopy, but they're so pretty. I love them, they're so pretty. The roses and they smell so good too. They smell like, you can smell them. I wish there was like smell-o-vision like so I can like waft it so you guys can smell, but they're so pretty. I love them. They're so pretty. And then here's a card. <laughs> oh, for little old me. I love my flowers. They're so pretty. Like, I've been sitting here working and I've just been like sniffing them the whole time. They're so pretty. And it came with a little bow and everything. Obsessed. Obsessed. When Mr. Nonchalant starts acting real chalant about you. Good morning, happy Friday. I've just logged in for work and I need to go ahead and get like my life together. <laughs> I need to go ahead and get my day started. Um, usually I never vlog this early, like on a Friday because, hello, work. A nine to five, a clock in, a job. I wanted to like take you guys through my new routine and like my new process that I'm implementing that I think will work really well for me. Okay, so first things first, I wanted to say hi, long time no speak. I haven't talked to you guys in a while. Um, we have a lot of catching up to do, but I wanted to talk to you guys about like the new way that I'm trying to like do my weekend, my weekends and just make them easier for me. First things first, usually on Fridays, I'm working from home, but today's a little bit special. I'm gonna go into the office today because there's a couple things that I need to do and I need to go to the mall, which is close by the office, and I need to go to Trader Joe's, which is also close by the office. So it just kind of works out for me to go to the office to get out of the house. But 
I said all that to say, I started getting my groceries ordered on Friday versus trying to grocery shop on Sunday, simply because I think it makes so much more sense, right? Because on the weekends, usually, like usually I'm here Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and Monday, right? So that's four days out of seven that I'm here and I'm at home. I'm trying not to eat out so much or like because I'm like if I'm out and it's convenient for me to eat out then okay whatever if I have intentions on going out to eat out then okay whatever but like if the food's already here then I don't have to worry about it you know what I mean or if the food's already here I don't have to say oh there's no food here let me go grab some food and then when it's time for the next meal or whatever I don't have the food so I have been grabbing my groceries from Amazon Prime. Just so like I can order them Thursday night, they're here Friday morning, so if I wake up and I'm like ready to cook or I'm out of groceries or whatever, I can have my food ready. I usually have it delivered between six and 8 a.m., so by the time I wake up, it's already outside. That's if I sleep well at night, because most times I don't. <laughs> Let's go round. I got a lot of pastas. I've been trying to, I really like the veggie pasta. I've mentioned that in a lot of my other videos, but I've been trying to at least go for gluten-free pasta. So I got rotini, fettuccine, spaghetti, and penne. So I at least try to get gluten-free, but I really like the vegetable ones as well because they taste just like regular pasta. I got some sea salt because I have this one particular guest who always says do you have some sea salt so I got some sea salt and I got some jelly some strawberry jelly and I got some mango lemonade just because I wanted to try this I haven't tried this before quick little quick little grocery haul I also got some um, gluten-free English muffins this is from the this is from the brand blah, 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 blah. this is from the brand glutino um, they're gluten free. I've never tried these and they look like they look a little weird. I've never tried these, but we're going to try them out. Like I said, I've been trying to stay like on a gluten free kick, but I really love these Asiago bagels from uh, Einstein's. So I did get these, but this is just like one guilty pleasure, you know, eggs. I got some brown eggs. I got two packs of these because I usually eat eggs every day cinnamon rolls i didn't see any gluten-free options for cinnamon rolls on amazon prime so i grabbed these and then they're also extra rich buttercream icing i usually do cream cheese icing and i just realized that it said buttercream and not cream cheese but whatever i guess i'm trying these i've never seen those in store so that's why i grabbed those but i was thinking cream cheese and not buttercream but whatever I put those in my cart like last week, so I never really like went back to check. Anyways, I got the butter tasting, just biscuits, little five biscuits. I like these because it's not like too much. It's not like too much for just me. I got some strawberry lemonade. Um, I got some orange juice with pineapple for like mimosas or something. And then I also got some, I also got some cucumbers. I really like cucumbers for like my salads and stuff. So I got two cucumbers. So that's all that I got from Amazon Prime. Oh, and I got, also got a case of water. So I still do have to go to Kroger for some things. And then I still do have to go to Trader Joe's like I mentioned earlier, because there's certain things that I like to get from Trader Joe's and like my meats and stuff like that. I like to get from Kroger. And there's like a couple things that are like store specific that I have to go to that store anyway. So I'm like, I might as well just get everything there. I'm about to put this up and then I'm gonna get dressed so that we can head into the office. And okay, so I'm dressed and I'm ready to go. And I have my outfit on. I got this top from H&M. Um, let me open up the blinds a bit. So I got this black top from H&M. It has like these like puffer sleeves. It's super, super cute. Um, can, can we see? I hope so. Uh, I got this top from H&M. I got this skirt from Shein. And I don't know like what I got on it. So there's something like right there. 
and then I literally just got lotion on it right there. It's always something with this skirt, but it's so pretty. And then I, this is something I got on there last time. And I tried to wash it and it didn't come out. I don't guess. Whatever. It's, so, it's such a pretty skirt. Like the color is so pretty. I'm just gonna order another one because it was like $8. So I'm just gonna order another one on Shein. Just have to be super careful with it. And then I got these mules from Target. They were like 30 bucks, which I feel like Target, be, be, be for real. But I need them for work. I wear them often. I, I, I just got them actually. I just got them before like a week or two ago. But anyways, here's my outfit of the day. This is what I'm wearing today. Super comfy. Like the skirt's not too tight. The shirt's not too tight. Shoes are comfy. So, oh, and I did like slight makeup. I never really do too much when it comes to my makeup, honestly. Because number one, nobody's ever really in the office. It's just me and it's Friday. So I just like to look cute and presentable in case I run into anybody. Oh, and my earrings. These are the Bottega dupes from Amazon. They're like $13. But yeah. Okay, off to the office. <laughs> <laughs> 